Hi, this is Dr. Nishal and in this video we're going to be talking about multiple sclerosis and the importance of uh, a specific macronutrient uh, that is deficient in most people's diets nowadays due to certain things that have been sold to us by the food industry. Uh, and that macronutrient would be dietary fat. Now, a lot of people think, oh, I don't want to consume fats. They're going to make me gain weight. That's not true. In order to gain weight, you need to... Um, uh, trigger insulin uh, which can only be triggered by excessive amounts of protein and very easily with carbohydrates those are the things that can, can contribute to weight gain uh, specifically carbohydrates not dietary fats now uh, dietary fats it the brain is basically 60 percent on average 60 to 70 percent fat uh, now, if any other part of your body was going through wear and tear, well, every part of your body is going through wear and tear, but if another part of your body was atrophying, let's say it was a muscle that was atrophying, you would go ahead and eat protein uh, and, and drink a lot of water and obviously consume carbohydrates because of the muscles hold glycogen as well. And uh, you want to trigger growth. Now, if the brain is undergoing degeneration or is atrophying, you want to give it the specific nutrients required for it to rebuild itself. The building blocks of brain tissue is fat, dietary fats. Now there's been research on this as well, uh, specifically on the use of coconut oil in uh, patients of Alzheimer's disease. Um, and coconut oil has been seen to significantly reduce the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and this is due to, it's, well, it's believed to be due to the presence of uh, medium chain triglycerides. Now, dietary fats in general, uh, if it's coming from a vegetable sauce, they're usually quite healthy. If it's coming from a meat sauce, you want to avoid too much red meat because there has been um, a lot of studies linking red meat to inflammation. So if you want to go for healthy fat sauces, you're looking at things like um, grass-fed butter, avocados, um, coconut oil, olive oil, ghee. Ghee is the important one. Ghee is one of the healthiest fats. Now, a lot of people think that because ghee comes from milk, it's not going to react well with them. Well, here's the thing. Ghee does not contain milk solids like butter does. It's just the fat portion. It's just the lipid portion. And all of the milk solids are removed. So there's no interaction. If you are lactose intolerant, there's no issue. Uh, it's safe to be consumed. Uh, other healthy fats come from chicken. Uh, specifically chicken thighs, chicken breast contains very little fat. Salmon. Salmon is rich in healthy fats. Uh, nuts, almonds, uh, Brazil nuts, cashews, walnuts. Those kind of things, are, those, those are the healthy sources of um, dietary fats, especially avocados. Uh, now when you consume your avocados, don't put a whole lot of sugar on it. Like some people like um, sugar, specifically refined sugars, refined flowers in general. Uh, extremely unhealthy and uh, contributes to the development of disease in the body so you want to avoid things like that you want to avoid sodas cookies sweets unless they they made with healthy ingredients you want to avoid those things junk food in general because uh, all of these things contribute to um, the development of disease and stress stress is another contri uh, contributor to uh, the development development of diseases especially um, autoimmune diseases uh, there's a thing called the hpa axis the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis which when stimulated because of stress cause certain things to happen in the body an increase in heart rate an increase in inflammation an increase in blood sugar levels all because of stress so we want to avoid that. So stress is something that you really need to counteract. And luckily, the, the medicinal plant that I mentioned before, ashwagandha, significantly counteracts the effects of stress. It reduces the hormone cortisol, which wrecks havoc in your body and, and um, causes all of these things uh, that I mentioned, increased inflammation. Um, it also causes weight gain. It causes... Um, uh, increased heart rates. You don't want to have all of these things occurring in your body, especially... Um, if you have a disease like um, multiple sclerosis, you want to reduce stress, you want to reduce unhealthy foods. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention, the importance of antioxidants. This cannot be stressed anymore. Antioxidants reduce the effects of oxidative stress. They, they reduce inflammation in the body. So you want to get, not don't want to overdo it. Anything in excess is bad for you. You want to get fruits and vegetables that are rich in antioxidants, things like blueberries, um, cabbage, kale, 
uh, apples, apples are rich in antioxidants, really undermined by a lot of people. Apples is extremely good for the brain. Uh, it's used, in fact, um, I think in natu naturopathy, um, it's used for treating amnesia. Um, other fruits would be berries, all kinds of berries, um, strawberries, blueberries, uh, raspberries, things like that. You want to consume a lot of these things. So we need dietary fats and we need antioxidants in our diet to enhance brain function to improve the building of brain tissue specifically remember the myelin sheet what is the myelin sheet it's basically myelin is a fatty substance that covers the neurons so you want to um, give the body the building blocks what's required to uh, build a specific uh, structure within the body now uh, by reducing neuroinflammation, as I mentioned, by stimulating your uh, neuron growth and by giving the brain the raw materials to rebuild itself, you can significantly reduce the progression of multiple sclerosis and you can reverse many of the symptoms, you can reduce a lot of the symptoms and it can improve your health overall in general as well. So these were my tips for multiple sclerosis. I will be doing some videos in the future about enhancing cellular metabolism. Um, that's a very big topic. Uh, I'll have to do multiple videos on it, uh, but that's going to play a key role in MS as well. So I want you to um, keep in touch. If you're on my YouTube channel, if you're using, if you're seeing this video on YouTube, I'm going to be uploading in many places. Please press, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on uh, Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash Dr. Nishal, D-O-C-T-O-R-N-I-S-H-A-L. Uh, to get in touch with me, uh, you can go to my website, drnishal.com, D-O-C-T-O-R-N-I-S-H-A-L.com, and go to the consultation tab. And um, yeah, and if you're in the Florida area, my practice is located in Altamont Springs, which is just outside of Orlando. And uh, I wish you all well, and I hope you all feel better, and I hope that these tips um, benefit you.